what's going on my people welcome back to the live capital youtube channel where life is for the taking it's the host himself ted talk money and i want to show you all a vip offer that our staking has for your xrp right now um, starting from today up until august 1st they're going to be offering an extra 0.5 percent on your stake so the minimum here will be about 550k but i want you guys to see the profit you get within that day if you've never heard of our staking we're really going to be showing you a little bit more of the dashboard but i want you guys to see that you're going to be getting returns back in busd and and USDT on your XRP. So we'll be giving you guys a little bit more information about that. Now, as you guys can see right here, when it comes down to it, Fed has launched their long awaited instant payment service, quote unquote, modernizing the system. If you're really new to our channel, we really had ourselves quite the live out there. Make sure that you pause this thing. Go check out our latest live because we were putting out there what you really need to know about this Fed now service. But you can see here, it's really been in the works since about 2019, uh, seeking to eliminate that several day lag when it comes down to transferring. I mean, if you're not here in the States, you really don't understand the stuff we have to deal with, with waiting for funds to process all throughout the weekend. So you can see here, Fed now is launched with 41 banks and 15 service providers that are certified. You have JP Morgan, BNY Mellon, US Bank. So it's a really good thing. The Fed plans on obviously onboarding more banks this year. The service is going to be competing with private real-time payments systems, including the RTP or the clearinghouse, which was initially opposed by big banks who said it was redundant. Long story short, these big banks were saying this private clearinghouse, this service, this network itself, it's redundant. Now we have ourselves a bit of a uh, Fed used service. So uh, some people were really asking, we were going over some of the frequently asked questions and people were saying, hey, are they going to be replacing PayPal? Will they be replacing cash? The thing about the Fed now services is it's going to be on a what's called a, a open loop system. When it comes down to Cash App or Fed now or, or Venmo, think about it. Can you send your PayPal to your Cash App? No. Can you send your Cash App to Venmo? No. But every bank that is a part of this Fed now service is going to be able to settle directly with other accounts. It's great. The U.S. economy is going to change. So you guys can see right here, XRP's demand on Google hits a one year high. Of course, we're loving it as XRP holders. We really have to ask the question, what is it people are searching? You see here, XRP, of course, has experienced a momentous upswing. I just have to park my car here, guys. Where's the FUD? Huh? Where's the FUD? This sudden surge came on the heels, of course, of a legitimate, significant legal win for Ripple, of course, against the SEC. And since then, XRP's value has soared. Google searches for XRP are trending. The two things they're really looking for is how to buy XRP. How to buy XRP. Fascinating. If you're really new to our channel, this is where you want to go. Go ahead and go to CoinMarketCap. You could really find out some of the, you know, the deets if you want to know about what the current happenings are with XRP. Uh, one we would recommend, I want to show you all who's really taking on the volume where is everyone buying their xrp binance and then Co uh, coinbase coinbase has recently relisted xrp if you guys really didn't know but i want to actually share with you guys exactly this new era that we really find ourselves with XRP. Obviously, we've all been seeing the price action. It's the talk of the town because, guys, here's the point. XRP is the only digital asset with regulatory clarity. That's the best part about it. So each and every one of our ISO coins, they're blowing up. So you guys can see it right here with this legal triumph, of course, against the SEC. The verdict uh, effectively dismissed the case that was initiated by the SEC that recognized that XRP does not fall under the security classification xrp is not a security so that's great news all the way around for the altcoin market and really for the crypto market all the way really for what we're seeing so i want to really end this uh, update with you all so you can understand how xrp really applies to this new fed now service you have the ripple partner here volante that's offering val pay val pay for cross-border payments to each and every one of those banks as you guys can see a ripple partner has access to ripple net so for example the banks will be able to have um, increased cross-border services folks do you understand 
understand exactly what we're saying here, you have already BNY Mellon, JP Morgan with access to RippleNet. Even though it's indirect for you, you really have to be able to understand what XRP is. But again, you guys can see it here that Volante connects with Ripple, which allows banks to modernize, of course, their legacy system and make sure that they can complete those cross-border payments. To really show you guys the XRP chart, you all could see it. You know, we were showing you all there's a bit of resistance here we have at 83 cents. Once we break past that thing, the next resistance, guys, because we're dealing with retail, the next resistance most likely is going to be after we break past a dollar. So my point, guys, we're not here wasting our time. Accumulation season is among us, okay? We're no longer in these days, these dog days here of 30, 40 cents. We're right here on our way to new heights. So I really appreciate you guys really making it to this part of the video. Make sure that you find out more about your XRP, how you could be a part of this channel, and as well, stay tuned for some more opportunities. But with that being said, I'll let you later. Peace.